In this video, I'll show you how you can include multiple decision trees in a report. So let's make sure we've got a, a clean instance of Radiant running. So start up Radiant and click on the power button and then on refresh. So that will get rid of any settings, any data that's, that's from a previous instance. So let's just do that, click refresh. That way we know we're all looking at the same thing. All right. So if I click on model, and then decision analysis. I'll go to the decision analysis uh, tool and I can create decision trees. So this is just the example uh, input that's available. So I can click on calculate, get it to calculate and solve the decision tree for me. And then if I click on the report icon, it'll add this tree to the report feature. And I can go ahead and click report and it'll generate the output and the plot for me. All right, so that's one decision tree. And let's see if we can now add a second example that's slightly different. So let's go back to decision analysis. And let's say, you know what? I just want to get rid of this last thing because I really just want to know within um, signing with a, with a movie company what the payoffs would be. And I'm going to change uh, legal fees from 500 to 200. Now, if I click Calculate, that's just going to overwrite the previous version that I was working with. So let's rename that. You see this input box that I'm typing into, my D tree, or call it whatever you want. Right? And I'm going to click Calculate, and that's going to solve the tree for me. And now I want to add that to the report. I click Report again. And now I've got two pieces of code. You'll notice that the first one says D tree. That was the original name. And this is now the new one that I just created. All right, and then I can click knit. Okay, I can click on knit report, and I'll see the initial, and then the updated one where the legal fees were two hundred. Okay, let me just do that one more time just to make sure that we're all on the same page. So I'm going to change in this one the 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 payoffs, um, and I'm going to change this to two hundred, this to one hundred, and this to three hundred. Again, I want to be, have that make, make sure that's saved as a different um, tree that I can include in my report. So again, all I have to do is make my edits like I just did, and then call this something else, like my other tree, right? whatever the name might be. Then click on Calculate, and as soon as I hit Calculate, that tree will be stored in the list. <clears throat> and here are all the trees. So again, I want to add that to my report. Here's number three. I can click Knit Report, and now here are my three different decision trees. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any other questions, make sure to post them on the Piazza site.